Welcome to lesson two. During this lesson, we're going to discuss in a bit more detail uh, the right ages and year groups to join a UK boarding school. If you are a British parent who already has your system in your child in the British education system, you might just want to skim through this lesson just to check that you are barking up the right tree. Uh, however, I would strongly recommend um, you work through this lesson in detail if you are an expat with your child in British International School Abroad or if you are an international parent with your child in your own country's education system because this lesson will assist you to look at the different entry points into British boarding schools and ages and how that process might work for your family and your child. So what we're going to cover in this lesson, uh, eight plus entry to boarding prep school. So that's entry into year four. Uh, 11 plus or 13 plus entry into boarding senior school. So that's entry in year seven or entry in year nine. Six form entry at 16 plus. So that's into year 12 for the last two years of British education in a boarding school. And we're also going to talk a little bit um, about ad hoc places to join boarding school in other years. So we're going to start off with eight plus entry. So that is entry into year four. This is the usual entry year for your child to join a full boarding prep school. In most cases, this is the youngest age that a child can full board uh, at a UK school. So children who are planning to join a top boarding senior school will usually spend five years in their boarding prep school. So they will join their boarding prep school in year four and they will stay there for five years through to the end of year eight and they will be applying to join a top senior boarding school, either a single sex or a co-ed boarding school to go move there, the transition to start year nine. There are a few boarding prep schools which start at year three. Uh, but mostly this would be for weekly or for flexi boarding. So if you want your child to join a UK boarding school younger, then uh, I'm not saying that's impossible, uh, but you would have to ask the schools whether they offer boarding at that age, because largely they might be offering day places uh, younger than year four. So now we're going to talk about 11 plus entry. So that is entry into year seven and some senior boarding schools have entry at 11 plus or year seven. This would include many boarding all girls schools, which tend to go through from year seven through to the end of sixth form at 18. But there are also some co-educational boarding schools which start at year seven. So if you are a child, if you're a parent with a child at a boarding prep school, you can choose whether you want your child to move to their senior school at year seven or year nine. And my advice would usually be, depending on circumstance, but in most cases, my advice would be to stay at your boarding prep school for as long as you possibly can. Because in particular, the last two years of boarding prep school, so years eight and year nine, are when the children get the opportunity to uh, extend their confidence through a very extensive range of opportunities. So they might be in school teams, they might be captaining the first team for the prep school in football. They might be a leader of the orchestra. They, they might be a prefect. They might be head girl or head boy. And these opportunities at a young age can do a huge amount to extend children's confidence. So if it is an option for your child to stay at prep school through till the end of their prep school time, then that would usually be my recommendation. A few exceptions to this might be co-educational boarding schools with 11 plus entry where they have their own junior schools. So starting at year seven would be a usual entry point um, for families who have their children in the junior school that leads through to a senior school. Uh, likewise, many London senior schools, so that's state schools or private schools, tend to start at year seven. So entry would usually be by 11 plus examinations taken in year six. And this is why many London prep schools, which feed into these senior schools, stop at year six and don't have a year seven or a year eight. 
Now we're going to move on to 13 plus entry. So that's entry for year nine. And this is the main entry point for most co-educational uh, senior boarding schools, as well as some of the top um, all boys senior schools, such as Eton, Harrow, Winchester, uh, Tombridge, Charterhouse, um, etc. So the schools that you would see as being the traditional um, boarding senior schools will start in year nine and you uh, children will study in for five years, year nine through to year 13. Children who are already in UK boarding prep schools, entry at year nine into these senior boarding schools is via examinations that they take in the summer term of year eight. Also, uh, the senior school will take into account references from your current school head uh, and also performance at interviews. In addition to this, and just to complicate matters, many uh, full boarding senior schools now have a pre-assessment process, and this can start up to three years before your child joins the school. So, for example, it could start in year six or year seven. So this is why we've talked through the timeline for applications, because in a lot of cases, you do need quite a long time lead time if you are looking to apply for a place for your child to join a top senior boarding school at year nine. This pretest uh, usually includes an online assessment in nonverbal reasoning, verbal reasoning, comprehension and maths, um, as well as an interview. If you have your child in a British international school, or if they are in your own country education system, entry is usually via tests that they take in year eight. So that is the year before entry. And these tests can usually be taken uh, at your own school, um, at a British council office, or there will be a certain date published in the school calendar for the senior school you're hoping to join when all the prospective pupils will go to the school for an entry assessment day. Understanding of English, so that's writing, speaking and listening, is crucial uh, to the entry assessment process. So if you require a visa for your child to study in a British boarding school, they need to demonstrate a good enough level of English to be able to access the curriculum at the age that they are joining the school. So if they are joining a boarding prep school in year four when they are eight, they will not be expected to have as good a level of English as perhaps they would be required to have if they're going to join a boarding school for sixth form in year 12. So now we move on to 16 plus entry for sixth form. Senior boarding schools vary in the number of places they offer for new, new pupils at 16 plus entry. So this can be quite a contestative process. Reasons for this move might be children moving from private school to sixth form colleges. They could be wanting to move to a co-educational boarding school because they are currently in an all-girls school. Sometimes they'll move from day school to boarding school to get an experience of independence to start to build them towards university. They could be moving from state school to private boarding school or from a school that has no sixth form. It's also fairly usual for children to transfer into a UK boarding school from international schools overseas. And this is usually because families would like them to begin their preparation for applying to a UK university. Some parents would also be looking at a change for sixth form because they would like their child to take up a subject which is not offered by their current school. So an example of this would be psychology, could also be economics A-level or to study BTECs, perhaps in something like business studies or um, physical education. And some students would also look to move to school if they would like to study the IB Diploma Program in sixth form instead of taking A-levels. Sixth form entry assessments take place in the autumn term of year 11. So registration deadlines are important to look out for. They are usually during the summer, so August or early September, in the year before entry is required. So that would be in the summer holidays or early autumn at the end of year 10 before year 11 starts. 
So I'm often asked, is it possible to join boarding school in other years? And the answer to that is almost definitely yes. Places do come up, for example, if a pupil has to leave unexpectedly. But places are very limited each year, depending on each school. Uh, year 11 is probably an exception. It's not a usual year to join a boarding school. It's halfway through the GCSE programme. However, if this is your plan, don't panic, because increasingly boarding schools are offering what they call a three-year sixth form programme, where those wishing to join in year 11 can do one year where they might be focusing on improving their English, or they might be studying perhaps five to seven GCSE subjects in one year if they haven't had the opportunity to do GCSEs in their own school. And then after that, they would move into an IB or into an A-level programme. So if your child is currently a 10 and you would like them to join a boarding school in year 11, my advice would, to you would be to look for schools which are offering a three-year sixth form programme. So it might be called a pre-A-level year or a pre-IB year or a three-year sixth form programme. Occasionally, students join a senior boarding school in year 10 to start the GCSE programme. But again, places are very limited each year, uh, but it's not impossible. And children from international schools or those who've been educated in their own country's education system will often join a UK boarding prep school for year six or, or seven, uh, the aim being to have two or three years within an expert British curriculum preparation school so that they can get the best um, teaching and preparation possible for the pre-tests, which they may be sitting to enter a top boarding school um, when, for year nine. Joining a prep school for one year in year eight is rare uh, and not advised. It is possible and we have placed children into year eight in prep schools, but usually I would advise a family who are looking to join a boarding school in year eight to look at a senior boarding school, which starts in year seven. So either a co-ed boarding school, which starts from year seven or an all girls school that starts at year seven, because seeking a place in year eight is a lot more common in these types of schools than it would be to join year eight in a prep school. So this would be called 12 plus entry into a senior school, which ha starts at year seven. So I hope that's given you um, a good window into the um, different year groups that you could be joining a boarding school. Uh, there is just one other thing to mention, which I am sometimes asked, is whether your child can join a boarding school out of year group. So in other words, they don't go into the year group that matches their date of birth. And again, the answer for that to that is yes depending on how old your child would be for the school year that they were joining. In an ideal world, you need your child to join the correct UK school year for their date of birth. But it is always worth talking to schools because particularly if your child has a summer birthday and hence would be very young for their school year, schools will consider them entering a year below where they would normally be. Uh, particularly if you're applying to school from abroad and English is not your child's native language, sometimes going back a year and starting uh, one year below where your child's proper school year would be, date, depending on the date of birth, will give them extra time to settle in and hence they may do better. So I hope that's given you all you need regarding ages and years to join and I will look forward to seeing you in the next video.